Hello my friends and good morning. It's your friend Alex, Super Nintendo Gamer. It's another beautiful Saturday morning and today and welcome to this week's episode of the Alex Game Show. Now this week I'm gonna be showing another toy. We've been on the we've done some video games and some reviews here lately, but this time we're we're going back to the toys. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my friends this two thousand nine Super Mario Mario Wing action figure. Now I don't know the name of the company, we know Nintendo May made, but I don't know if this is a well Nintendo or a different brand. I couldn't find it on the internet, but it says right here on his boot, right here, it should say, it says Nintendo, and it says like, BP, it says right here, I think it says, BP 2009. I don't know who that is, I tried to look it up and I couldn't find it. Well, that, we don't have to worry about that, because we're just going to talk how great this toy is. Like we see, like, with all the Nintendo toys, Mo Wing Mario's with detail. Oh, before we get into that, I want to ask you guys a question, and we're going to do some brief history on this little toy. I want to ask you guys one question. Have you guys ever played Super Mario 64? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I would love to hear them. Okay, and also, too, Wing Mario first appeared in 1996 on the Nintendo 64 game, Super Mario 64, and that is a classic game. If you see my review on that, check it out on my channel. It's really good. And we see, and Wing Mario has been, is a one, was one of Mario's power-ups in Super Mario 64. It was also on the front cover of Super Mario 64. And what we see on this toy, now we know, now there's one little thing different about this one and the one in the game. And also on the box art of Super Mario 64. This version of Wing Mario is more based off his Mario version, while the, uh, while the old one is kind of based off his old 64 version. So, but I think what's funny... The Nintendo, I don't think the wing cap ever put outside any other games. It just always stayed in Super Mario 64 and its remake, Super Mario 64 DS, as well as Super Mario 3D All Stars. And I, I don't think the wing cap appeared outside in too many other games. It might be. I'd have to check on the Super Mario Wiki page. Now we're going to get to the details on this toy. Now we're going to see Mario's really detailed. See, we're going to see how detailed his face is and his overalls. Uh, and his shirt and his mustache. We see like how they really des designed this toy so it looks like he actually is flying. Because this is the position he was flying in in Super Mario 64. And we see how they did the wings on top of his head. And like his shoes in the back of him. In the front and the side. All really great details. And just like all Nintendo toys. They are excellent products, and I highly recommend any Nintendo products, because these are the best. You can't go wrong with Nintendo. Nintendo's been excellent. Just look at this Mario toy. It just looks so cool. I think, and, I, I think I can't, I think I found this, I think I got for my birthday one year, but I think my aunt bought on for me on eBay. And what's funny, i never seen that one like this. So this is kind of a different item. We've seen like some Wing Mario stuff, just like Wing Mario plush. But I never seen one like this, and since it's kind of a little different find, I don't think there's too many of these. Because I looked on eBay and I couldn't find them. So it's kind of a little different little action figure. So if you're a fan of Super Mario or old classic toys, this is the toy for you, my friends. Because this is a good action figure to add to your Nintendo collection. Like all the other toys, he's in detail. I think this is what makes this really toy good. Tender really takes the time to make excellent products. If you look back through the history of Nintendo, Tender has always made excellent products. From all from the all the way from the first Nintendo system all the way up to the Nintendo Switch. Wing Mario, I think I think this is probably one of the most interesting action figures. And you don't usually see this in a lot of Mario stuff. Since this is two thousand nine, this was this was made 13, at 13 years after Super Mario 64. So this, two years before its 15th anniversary. Hmm. And I think what really made this toy really nice is just the way how they really designed it and how they made Wing Mario really excellent looking. You can see how designed he looks on it. I think one of my favorite parts is the wings. See, 
Wing Mario looks really cool when he flies, like in Super Mario 64, like when he flies. The best part is you like to get in a cannon and he shoots off the air. He does, whee, goes up. I think that's the part you have to move, use the joystick on the 64 control to make him glide. And that was, that was always, one, I think, one of the best parts in the game because it kind of allows you to fly over the each world. It wasn't in all the worlds, but it was in a good many of the worlds in Super Mario 64. It allowed Mario to fly over them. You could really see how the levels were designed and kind of get the areas in. In the first world, Bob on Balcony, there's a sky island. Yes, they had sky islands back then before they got in Zelda. So, I think, that's what, I think this tour is really excellent. If you're looking for old Mario action figures, my friends, I highly recommend adding this to your Super Mario collection. This is an excellent toy. And if you're also like Super Mario 64, this is also excellent too. Because it just looks like he's actually flying. We're going to go at the end. He goes, he got like when he goes flying, he'll go up like this, and he'll go, whoop, he goes up like that. I think that was one of the funnest parts in that game. I used to play that a lot as a kid. I think that, that was just awful fun. You go, he'd go up, we got to do it one more time. You go, he'd fly up, and then you go down like this, whoop, and you go back up again. That was really fun. Okay, I think that pretty much wraps up for today's video. We can't do no more Wagon Mario. I think that's pretty much all we covered on this toy today. So, thank you guys for watching. Oh, I'll ask you guys one question. What, what do you think of Wagon Mario? Is this your favorite Pop Super Mario 64? Or is the other Pops your favorite? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Okay, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please give us a like, a share, and a comment. And don't forget to Get to subscribe to Alex Super Nintendo Gamer and click that bell to get notifications to get more fun content from Alex the Super Nintendo Gamer. Because I want to show you guys more fun stuff. And this is where we review, talk, and showcase video game products and other video game stuff too on the Alex Gamer Show every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and God bless you, my friends. Bye bye. See you next Saturday. Bye bye.